Hey guys, welcome to What Is Truth. We're having an awesome day today. God is good. I'm here with Neil. How are you doing, guys? And our special guest, Lexi. We just did a podcast with her, guys, and she has her own YouTube channel that's called Chillin' with the Trinity. So I want you guys to definitely check that out. We have an awesome testament that's going to come out on, on her own channel, and I'm going to have a clip of it that will come out soon. But guys, we're going to react to this uh, video that's going around. It's a little viral about a preacher being arrested about preaching the gospel. So let's get right into it, guys. So you have the pen with you? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Right, what? If you preach in here, it also depends on what you say. Because you might be um, uh, you might be committing criminal offences as well. For example, for example, give us an example. Any Yeah. If you if you make a if a, if if you make if if you make a members of the public harassment, alarm, distress. Yeah. It's a criminal offence. I'm aware of that. Yeah. yeah, so that's what we're, we're not really doing that. What we're doing is about preaching our religion. You're going to provide so me with the details, answer. yes or yeah. no? What so details are you, are you requesting? I need your name yeah. and your address. And okay, so there. can you explain to me why do you need these details? Pardon? Can you explain? Because I don't understand why. Okay, currently there's an allegation. Okay. It's an offence. So what allegation was it, sir? Hate crime. Hate crime. Section so, public order. So, so, what, what, so what, was said, what, what was said to cause the hate crime, sir? Homophobic behaviour. Yeah. Give me an example, sir. Give me an example. I've not heard anything. I'm not saying I've heard anything. Someone's called us, okay? It might be completely untrue. It might be true. I do not know. If you don't give me your name and address, I have grounds to arrest you. Google it, it's code of practice, okay? Yeah, I'm aware of that. I can arrest you. I know. That's okay? It's fine. I, I appreciate that. Can I confirm you're aware of the allegation now that now, it's been made? Now, I, I'm still not aware. That's why I want to ask you some questions, yeah? So, what aren't you sure of? I, I, I can I'm see a, you smiling, so I think you're finding this I, I'm a bit smiling because so I'm a friendly person. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you one last time, no, no, otherwise no. you're going to be placed under arrest. No, excuse so me. I'm going to ask you for excuse the final me. time, sir. I'm not asking excuse anymore. Excuse me. Wow. Wow. She's got pretty eyes for the wall. She's got pretty eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know that, uh, that is in London. Do you know that the major or the president, whatever you want to call it, the city is uh, Muslim? Oh, the prime minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because they have a king. Because it's, uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's the but, English but, but royal he's right, family. You're talking about what the prime minister is. Yeah, is, but he's a Muslim. Yeah, so Islam, yeah. I'm not they saying they might be the ones enforcing that, but it could be. No, I would, I would disagree. I, I don't know, because you could throw the other argument is that they would actually be in favor for it because then they wouldn't be for, because if they're if you're practicing Islamic faith, both Christians, mm -hmm. Islam, Islamic, uh, tend to have a a disagreement when it comes to uh, same sex, yeah, a relationship. Yeah, but that's the thing. They're but just preaching. Be... Uh, yeah, he's just preaching. He's, he's just, just talking about, and there and, and someone were... made a comment. They, even the guy said, "I." If you notice, the cop says. I have no idea what's going on. Uh -huh. We just heard. And then moments later, we have grounds to arrest you. Mm -hmm. As an officer, you cannot provide, you cannot do an arrest, even of probable cause. Yeah. You have to have evidence in yeah. order to make a situation. Mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting that he was like, oh, well, we just came because, well, like, we are telling you this because you just caused distress. And like, like making it a small thing. Like he said, you only cause distress here. And then later on they go, yeah, this is a hate crime. And right, it was like, right. whoa, you went from zero to a hundred, bro. Right. Like, geez. Yeah. And it was like, I mean, like, granted, I really would have liked to hear what he was saying. Because you could be a condemning, you know, you could be right, a yeah, there are Christian. Christians. Yeah, yeah, I've heard Christians really go out like that and talk about that. And then it's different because I don't know how the freedom of speech is over there than it is over here. Because he said that, oh, you said homophobia. That's a, that's a, you said it's it was racist a punishment. Problem. Yeah, that's a punishment. Um, yeah, no, the, I know in Canada, UK, and certain countries in the, uh, European uh, region, it's more regulated your freedom of speech. You start, they can label anything as a hate crime or homophobic and they can actually arrest you, which is um, pretty messed up in my opinion because at the end of the day, like, you have your own voice. Whether, I mean, as long as you're not saying that you like to see someone dead or I'm gonna kill you, right? Like threaten, like bomb, like you yell, you can't, you can't be in an open crime and yell, mm -hmm. I have a bomb. Yeah, because then you're getting, when you get in that issue, you're getting the issue of like what parts of speech and breaking it apart. Like I can't argue because I don't live in London. I I don't know what their laws are when it comes to speech. But I'm like so if I'm thinking about this, the biblical side is like okay, if he's preaching the word of God, he's saying that it's a sin, but he's asking him to turn away from the wicked ways. He's doing his job. He's, he's doing his thing. job, and eventually people are gonna say that's homophobic because you're telling them they're doing wrong for being gay. Right, and that's how they're gonna be reacting. It should not be to extend of. I'm going to arrest you because you're committing a hate crime. 
Right, right. But then the Bible also tells you that you will be persecuted for mm-hmm. the things that you do for me. Jesus says yeah, that in Matthew. Yeah, yeah, he does say that. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes I think in his defense, you know, people like to fixate on certain sins in the Bible, and that's one of them. Like, being gay is one of them. But like, be, there's so many sins in the Bible that like even Christians nowadays that like probably all three of us have are always committing that will also do the same thing. But like, like a lot of people don't understand that they're just trying to educate you because like they actually love and care for you. And that's right. why these people mm-hmm. are trying to tell you like, Hey, like this is wrong. We want to see you in heaven. Like we want you to do right by God. And then people like, Right, like the manifest, same way, like anger, and they're like, right, no, right. hate crime, homophobic, like because they don't want to, they don't want to hear the change, they don't want, they don't want to accept the ref, the conviction of them, and then the way that you go about it, especially if you're going, if you're gonna go be apologetic or if you're gonna go spread the gospel, whatever, in any ways, you the first and foremost is that you want others to know the love of God as the way it changed you in your life, mm-hmm. not to prove them wrong, but to prove the love of God in their lives. That's the way I would approach it. Is I'm here mm-hmm. to show God's love. I'm not here to show, I'm not here to prove that I'm, that I know God's love and you don't. I'm here to show you what the love of God is so that you then therefore know, I don't know the love of God. Now I know what it is and I'm going to embrace it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much giving advice is so it's like, hey, you should probably walk this way. You know, like when you have a client that is overweight, it's like, yeah, I think I'm pretty fit, but you're trying to be nice. Yeah, I, I eat pretty like, good. You're, you're, I eat pretty you're good. You're a solid age, you know, like the figure. Right. But. But but you you you, you tell them the truth. You like this yeah. is the nutrition. This is what you should do. This is how you take care of yourself. You don't. And then there's a wrong way of going about that. If you just belittle them and do it that way, then they're they're not gonna, they're going to most likely turn away from what you're t- trying to teach them. Yeah. Yeah. Then I mean, obviously, if they're actually doing it that way. Then I will see why they consider it like a hate crime. Right. And you should not do it. But either way, I mean, the Black Lives Matter movement was not considered a hate crime. No, it wasn't. It's it's just it's just. We live in a it's crazy thing called White Lives Matter. Oh, yeah, it'd be different. Yeah, it'd be a it'll, be, it'll be a hair crime. It'd be big yeah. twist. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not white, by the way. No, no, no. Mexicano. So, anyway, guys, I thank you guys for tuning in for this uh, podcast, guys. I mean, this reaction video. Uh, we're going to have more stuff that comes up. Ram will have a link to Lexi's uh, YouTube channel, which is called again Chilling with the Trinity. Amen. And then Neil's clothing line. Lion Crest, which will be on the bottom. Thank you guys for tuning in. And guys, remember, what is the truth? The truth is Jesus Christ. Thanks, guys. Amen. Say no to the devil. I was going to be a Neil's one.